What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix most of the Uncover issues, especially on the A12 devices with the latest Uncover for 12.4, 12.2, 12.4 and so on. Now, the things that I'm going to show in this video may fix many of the issues you have and may also help you if you cannot transit from Chimera to Uncover successfully, but this may not fix every single possible problem. So these are just some things you can try and they are known to work very well and they're known to fix many problems, but it won't cover every single problem on earth. So yeah, you should keep that in mind. But yeah, if you have any problems with Uncover, this is the first thing you should try. Now I'm going to show you what exactly I'm talking about. Some people actually report issues with Cydia, either for example, not loading like that, or they have problems with Cydia not showing repos or not installing because of a red error or a yellow warning and so on. But there's also people who have issues jailbreaking in the first place because of various errors related to the um, root effect or OTA updates and stuff like that. Now, the first thing you should do if it's not an OTA update error is to restore the root FS. Now, many of you know what that is and many of you know that fix, but judging by the number of people on my forum who do not know the difference and who do not know what that does, I'm going to show you exactly what to do. Now, in Uncover, in here, there is a gear icon for settings. You press in there and there are a couple of options. Many of you probably do not know about them because these are not something that you get to toggle every day, but there are many in there and uh, some of them can actually fix your device. The most important one is restore rootfs. If you take a look in here, the rootfs restore option is not toggled by default, like the others, for example, disable updates or disable revokes, which are toggled by default when you install the app. Now, if you toggle this one in here, what it will try to do is to actually remove everything related to the jailbreak. It will clean up the device just like the jailbreak has never been installed before. Now, this has many health benefits for the device because if some something goes wrong, it's usually due to corrupted files or corrupted settings or a plist file containing bad configurations and so on. And what this does is to basically remove anything related to the previous jailbreak session without removing any of your personal data. So once you toggle that in settings and press done, instead of the jailbreak button, you're going to see a restore rootfs button. You have to press that and let the device do its thing. After the reboot, you will be able to jailbreak again, but keep in mind that all your tweaks your CDM and any application you installed with the jailbreak will be removed. Anything you install from the app store and your photos and your contacts and so on will be kept. These will not be deleted. But Cydia, Falza, New Term or New Term 2, anything related to the jailbreak will be removed. So I'm going to do that, but this should definitely clean many of the issues. So I'm gonna press this and be right back. All right, so the phone rebooted, and at this point, as you can see, I no longer have Cydia installed, and I no longer have any tweaks that were installed with Cydia, and so on. Basically, at this point, it's like I never jailbroke the device before. So anything I did wrong with Cydia or the jailbreak has been cleaned up. And now if I open Uncover, I'm able to jailbreak again like it's the first time. You do not have to toggle anything on and off this time, you just have to press jailbreak. So after a reboot, I can finally run Cydia because it's been reinstalled. Now you may still see glitches here and there because this is a beta jailbreak, but many of the issues that people have can be fixed by restoring the root FS. Now uh, this may not fix problems like the camera not showing up in applications and stuff like that. The issue that causes the camera not to work or face ID not to work and so on, these are actually all tied to a bug in the uh, code sign patch of the Uncover and will be fixed in the next days. Now this is one of the fixes you can try. In the next video, since this one is getting long, I'm going to show you how to fix the problems related to the OTA update when the Uncover won't jailbreak because of those and it tells you to delete OTA. So yeah, thank you for watching, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. If this video helped you out, tell me in the comment section down below. I'm Gio Snow and till next time, peace out.